we're eating chronically eating a lot of carbohydrates, pretty soon your body has been producing insulin, producing insulin, producing insulin every time you eat a carbohydrate, right? And it's storing it here, 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 it's storing it all over the place. And pretty soon it, there's nowhere else to put it. Think of insulin as a key, it has a key on it. So it grabs a hold of the sugar molecule and insulin has a key and there's a lock on your cell that fits that insulin key perfectly. So insulin comes along, unlocks that lock on the cell, dumps the sugar into the cell, and then your blood sugar comes down. Well, what happens when you become insulin resistant is the cell changes the lock. And so insulin comes along and the lock doesn't work anymore. And then it goes to the next cell, it doesn't work anymore. And then pretty soon it's like, I've got to put this sugar somewhere. So I need to build, the body needs to create um, some cells. And guess what? It's, it creates fat cells and it creates fat cells in the middle of the body. That's the first place it'll do that. Okay. So if we're starting to gain weight in the middle of the, uh, the belly area and stuff like that, as we're aging and our, we see our blood sugars coming up, you can almost be guaranteed you're insulin resistant. Okay. So you're heading towards over that hundred mark on fasting glucose. You don't want to be there.